Hi, welcome to Giglot 5. Navigating through the software was one of the hardest things to implement. Hardware arrangers of the same model all have the same touchscreen or set of buttons, making it easier for manufacturers to organize navigation. Giglot, however, offers far more possibilities. You can use it with a touchscreen or prefer physical buttons for their tactile feedback. This flexibility allows users to organize their workflow the way they like. But it also makes implementing every feature for every possible scenario very challenging. That's why we keep adding new ways to navigate with each version of Giglad, because fast and precise navigation is the key to using an arranger efficiently. Touchscreen navigation is self-explanatory. You see a button and touch it. It seems ideal, but it comes with drawbacks. More cables to connect for every gig, connector and cable quality, repeated daily connections, and the lack of tactile feedback. Many musicians still prefer physical buttons. With Giglet 4, we introduced navigation through the PC keyboard. Selecting number keys from 1 to 0 would choose one of the 10 files visible in the viewer. It worked, but we needed something faster and more responsive, so we implemented encoder navigation. What is an encoder? It is like a potentiometer, but it rotates endlessly, unlike a regular potentiometer with hard stops. This allows values to continue smoothly without jumping from the previous position, making it very useful for tempo, volume, and other controls. We extended this functionality to navigation as well. As you can see, my MIDI controller has nine encoders. I mapped this one to select styles, this one to presets, and this to lyrics. You can map them however you like. Turning an encoder moves the soft selection through the files. Soft selection doesn't actually activate the file yet. You press a button to activate it. On my controller, I mapped one button specifically for this. So you create a soft selection, and then when you're ready, just press this activate button and your style will change or your preset will change or whatever you use will be active. If you want to browse presets, just turn the encoder until you find the file, then press select. The viewer remembers its previous position for styles, presets, bands, and more, so turning the knob navigates through files smoothly without needing for a touch screen. To go back one folder, just press the back button. I mapped this button on my controller. Some encoders have acceleration, so turning faster scrolls faster through files, giving a natural response and making it easy to find what you need. Others, like the one in the middle of my controller, doesn't have acceleration, but it has tactile steps for every message it sends. This is very useful for tempo, but you can use it however you like. That brings us to the end of this video series introducing Giglet 5. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Thank you all for watching. Bye.